Hi, this is Wamda Studio and with us we have Sadia Hayat of Montage Design, design Build. Montage Islam Design Build. And she's going to tell us a little bit about her company and how she started it and what she is today. Hi, thanks for being with us. Thank you very Sadia, much. Sadia, tell us a little bit about your business. What is uh, it? I'm basically an architect. Uh, and so is my brother, so it's kind of a family business that we started about 12 years back. Um, as an architect, I'm just supposed to be designing and doing consultancy work, but then looking at the quality of construction around here, we decided long time back that we have to venture into construction as well. Um, so we started doing this, that we, whatever we design, even if it was a small thing, we would try and make it ourselves. So this is how we grew into a proper construction company. So now whatever houses, uh, well basically we just do houses. That's our fort, that's our uh, you know, highlight of our business. We do interiors, turnkey jobs, design, architectural design, structure, everything, but just concentrating on the residential sector. Um, so this is what we've done. We've diversified ourselves a lot. Uh, so we're constructing, we're doing interiors. There's another line of business that we do, which is embroidered interior products. Okay. So when I do interiors for embassies or houses or whatever, I try to make them very unique by using our own embroideries. Um, it seems that it's really diversified. I mean, you've gone from something that's purely conceptual and then you design it and it's consultancy work as you said Gee. and then to actual hands-on construction yes. um, that must have required some kind of capital how exactly did you manage to get well, I think the key to all of this was keeping our business on a very small scale okay. so you know speaking in terms of finance uh, financial outlays or the kind of works we were doing they were small, so like when it was interiors, it was small interiors, and it was houses, you know, houses uh, at the most two, three canals, four canals of land, and then a built up area of 10,000, 15,000 square feet. These are, the, these are generally the kind of projects that architects would always say these are too small, these are too small, you know, not, not their favorite projects. But f this is where we learned. We learned all the tricks of the trade here. This is where we learned construction. Uh, because we were only doing houses, they were smaller projects, they were easier to control, and then even if we did make some mistakes, the mistakes weren't, you know, they were, weren't out of proportion, not something that we couldn't handle. So, okay, so you, small scale, you learned along the way, I mean, it's, it's amazing. And now, do you have any plans for the future, maybe? Oh, yes. Uh, up till now, we've been doing um, all sorts of works for different clients. But our next step forward, uh, for which we're working very aggressively, is to get into development. So we, you know, we have our own pieces of land all over Islamabad in the priciest locations and stuff, or even for middle-income group uh, in places like Defence. And then we build our own houses and we put them up for, you know, we launch them uh, uh, to, to the general public. That will be the next step where we're making a product. So we're neither consultants there, nor are we contractors. In those, we are manufacturers. We be manufacturing houses. And um, lots of variety because obviously houses, the kind of people, you know, the number of people you have, that is the number of houses you can make. So it's... So uh, Sadia, what makes your business different from any other firm that I would walk into and say, hey, build me a house? Quality. There'll be absolutely no compromise on quality in our work. Um, that's why we're expensive. Uh, some people say we are very expensive. Well, that's not because we're making a lot of profit. That's because we use the best materials. We use the best technology. We try to, to be as much professional as possible. You know, this in Pakistan, still technology is really, you know, it's at the lowest level, lowest rung. So it's very difficult to maintain quality in construction. But whatever we can do, you know. Does that take a lot of uh, labor to oversee that the construction is It being takes a lot of professional input. It, you know, so our projects are not looked into by contract. We don't hire contractors. We have engineers and architects and technical people 
who get everything done. Okay. So there's no middlemen in between, you know. So those people are very important to your firm. They are very important. They are the key members, you know. They're like the pillars of my business. And uh, two, three of them are my own family members, my brothers and my father. And, you know, so, um, yeah. And we have trained a lot of people along the way, you know, the people who've been with us. Uh, lots of our people, lots of our labor has left for abroad. Uh, they learn, they become very good, and then they go abroad, which we're sad about. But then, you know, we're happy too because we're doing a good giving job back. in giving back to the people. Yes. So, Sadia, what's your advice for young entrepreneurs who want to get into a business like architecture? Because we see architecture is basically just, it's, it's an art form, right? You yeah. study at art school. And uh, perhaps art students aren't as equipped business-wise to um, even envision something like this. So what would be your advice? Well, first of all, for any newcomer, be it you know in architecture or any other field, uh, this is what my father used to advise me always. That is that in the first few years of your business, don't think about money. Just don't think about money. Don't just, think about just money. Just work, you know. That is the most important thing. And specifically for architects, I think what is very important is architects have to concentrate not just on the aesthetics, but on the overall product. You know, a, a product is everything. There's layers and layers of uh, things in it. You know, there's functionality, there is references, there is a regional approach, there is, you know, context. There, there is so much, and the more you think about uh, the, the layers that a project or a product has, the richer it becomes. And that is the beauty of architecture, you know. It is, uh, that's why my business is called Montage, because it's so diversified. And you're but extremely passionate about your work. Oh, yes. Uh, I think my whole life, my everything's from my business wow. and my work, and I love my work. Good luck to you, Sadia. Thank Thanks you so for much. being with us. Thank, Thank you so you much. So much.